Got a heck of a final here, this though. This is insane. All right, underway, 133-pound final in the red. That's Vito Arujao for Cornell, taking on Mikhail McGee, Arizona State, in the white, green ankle bands. These First are two yeah. speed demons here. So fast and both good on the mat. First meeting ever between these two. Both guys can really wrestle from everywhere. McGee, really good from the top position, getting tilts. Vito can generate a lot of offense. He's got great reattacks as well. We saw McGee in Austin a little over a week ago. Fall to Lucas Bird. There you see a collar and ankle attempt there from McGee. It's not there as Vito looks to re-attack him. A couple of two-time All-Americans. Vito up at 133 for the first time in his career. Vito truly one of the, the best wrestlers in America, regardless of weight. And the fact that he's he's ranked third and rightfully so is just a tribute to how insane 133 is. And there's a shot reattack sequence there from McGee and Vito. Vito made final X. He's been in the World Team or the Olympic Trials Finals. Great international wrestler, but a great folk styler as well. There's a shot high crotch, looking to. Hop over that leg. McKee blocking that elbow, making it tough, but not tough for long. There's two. Take down Vito Arujo. Vito has a really complete style. Oh, McGee, nice job. It's out. So only eight seconds of riding time there. Great shot and a great finish there from Vito Arujo. Vito, he just has so many ways to score. He can go low level attack. We saw him go feet to back in the semis. McGee, though, you can't blink. This guy can score in a moment's notice. McGee, an Illinois native. Vito from Long Island, New York. There's a double leg from Vito. Well defended by McGee. But you see these flurries from Vito. Shot, shot, shot. And there he's in position to finish, but wrestling back in is McGee. Nice sequence there. Yeah. But you see the the combos that Vito throws at his opponents. Yeah, those hard fakes, level changes, half shots and the commits. But McGee, credit to him for not giving up in that position. He kept wrestling, extended the position, and got out of bounds. Of course, McGee started his career at Old Dominion. Program was dropped and his career. Fools. Really, truly fools. There's a shot from Vito, good sprawl by Mikhail McGee. Pop, pop from McGee right to the head of Vito, trying to open something up. Vito does this thing with his right hand where he just kind of like sticks it out like this, like right in front of it. It's kind of funny. He does a couple of those little mind games, a couple little physical You know, things. him and Yanni, they're kind of silly like that. Yeah. Yeah, Yanni, you see him finger wag at, a, at foreign opponents, things like that. It's great. Ankle trap there. Of course, we'll be seeing no Yanni this weekend, but we'll be watching him next week at the World Cup in Iowa City, Coralville specifically. And there's an escape from Vito as he shoots Man. the tail off the mat. And. McGee was fighting hard for the wrist there. He yeah. has good turns on top. Vito wise to it. Didn't waste any time getting out. See, there's that thing, but he Ooh. caught caught that leg. Man. Did you see that? Yes. He's doing it again. He's doing it again. I wonder if Vito came up with that or somebody told him to do it. No. I remember Zane Rutherford does that thing where he would like, I think he actually did it to Yanni now. That he like kind of grabbed the chin. So yeah. Kinda cut. Yeah. Little misdirection attempt there for McGee. It's not there. A minute six to go in the second period. 3 1 lead for Vito. Ooh. <laughs> he did it again. Yeah, just watch Vito's right hand. It's like he wants him to smell it. 
A lot of times, he, man. Oh, hard left club there from Vito. A lot of times you see Vito keep one hand in front of his face, kind of like a boxer, but then he does that display of the diamond ring or whatever. <laughs> yeah, he needs a name for it. Man. All right, double to single, nice shot, and he gets up quickly standing with a Granby attempt from Vito, but, or from Mikhail McGee, but it fails, and he gives up two more. Another Granby from McGee. 15 left in the period. McGee, point here would be huge for him, but Vito's got him all the way flat. And there's a ride out for Vito, 5-1 as we head to the third. There's a, there's a, you know, coming into this year, we kind of felt there's probably gonna be some separation between Roman, Dayton, Vito, and the, and the field. And mm -hmm. so far this year, that seems to be absolutely the case. And Vito definitely proving that to be the thus far in this final. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Because make no mistake, McGee is, he's the class of the rest of 133. For sure. Tripod there for McGee as he's gonna work for an escape. Only 35 seconds of riding time for Vito so far as he scoops that ankle. Wow, big return there from Vito. Hit him all the way up in the air, landed, drove him right on his hips. McGee's flat again. As this match has worn on, Vito has started winning more of these little positions between the positions and getting a guy like McGee flattened out for 30, 45 seconds is no easy thing to do. Deep waist for Vito there. See his whole hand, that's a lot of pressure. Tough to build your base. Now all the way out to the side. You see McGee kind of grab Vito's wrist underneath. He doesn't want to get that arm pulled across the back. Switch attempt from McGee, but not there. Got to throw some combos at Vito if you want to get away. Yeah, that whole switch action, all it did was loosen that deep waist a little bit. Yeah, and right back to square run. Now, figure four. And this is a big predicament to negotiate for any wrestler. Man, what a job from Vito this match. Yeah, I mean, it, it felt like a lot of the rise. match happened on its feet, but he's going to end up with over two minutes of riding time, just really controlled every facet of the match. Vito Arugia, your champion here, 6-1 for Cornell. Mike Gray, Kellen Russell in the corner for Vito. And a strong statement from Vito. That is a final that nobody was surprised to see happen. Right. 